Hello everybody, I'm Nick and I just cannot believe it. Microsoft just keeps winning. GitHub just announced GitHub Copilot X, the brand new iteration of GitHub Copilot. And it is powered by GPT-4. Not only that, but it just completely changed. It now has way more features that make the experience of using a pair programmer just so much better. In this video, I'm going to show you what is coming, what is changing, and what you should expect by this new copilot. If you like a lot of content and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, and for more training, check out nickchapsis.com. All right, so let's see what we have here, and I'm going to start by the landing page. So the first thing you see is that it is powered by GPT-4, fantastic, but you now have this new chat experience and it's actually not only chat it is also voice which is just amazing for accessibility so it can now take all the context of your id so the code and the errors and everything and give you suggestions based on all the context so as opposed to chat gpt that you have to provide a lot of code and have it keep track of everything here everything in your id is from what i understand in scope so if you say something like write unit tests for this function it can go ahead and do that in a chat like function and give you explanations and everything for example the code assumes that the daytime module is imported and so on very very smart then you can have context aware conversations because if you have an error you can actually ask about that error and now it can actually go to documentation and use that documentation as part of the answer so it's not going to hallucinate an answer it's going to use things like react docs and microsoft docs and so on and you can ask things like how do i vertically center a div if it can answer that it can't do anything so that is awesome we also get pull request support so on github you will be able to autocomplete a pull request based on the title of the pull request for example and we're gonna see how that looks we have videos that shows this functionality and not only that but we also have automated testing support so if a test is missing github copilot can actually point it out in ci which is just nuts and then you have cli support as well so if you have a command like ffmpeg and you don't know exactly what each parameter is doing copilot can help you as you can see over here explaining each thing in that command and tells you hey run the command revise the command or cancel it it is very very smart and you can go ahead and sign up if you want to join the waitlist there is a waitlist the moment i get access to this i'm going to make a video on it and if anyone from github is watching please give me access please 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 now with the launch came a video so i want to go ahead and see the video to see what this thing is actually capable of doing so okay context aware conversations i get it explain this regex fantastic i don't know regex but this thing can do it and of course that's something that chat gpt could do even before gpt4 so it's okay finding bugs is actually super useful because many times especially if you wrote the code it's very hard to spot a bug so copilot with all that context can go ahead analyze the code and give you suggestions as it did in this demo then writing unit tests again something that chat gpt could do but there was quite a bit of hallucination going on just imagining methods that don't exist here it is going to use things that do exist which is just fantastic the productivity will go through the roof and then you can also ask things about for example python and it's going to give you answers based on the docs goes straight into the id uh, that you're using and it's going to use again like i said docs to give you answers in a very nice chatty way uh, as a blog post almost, which is just a great experience. And again, pull request support, you can go create a pull request and that can be generated by Copilot. It is just so easy. Let's take a closer look to those features in this blog that was also released explaining more in detail. And I will have everything linked in the description down below. So a few things that are worth pointing out, again, chat and voice interfaces, great for accessibility, pull request support, answering questions on docs, and then the GPT-4 model. And then if we go in some videos down here, you can see some of the things we saw in that previous video in more detail and slower. You have this chatty window on the left and then your code on the right in your ID with everything else in your code. In this case, we also have an error in the terminal, which you can see that Copilot will go ahead and correct. How fantastic is that? You're gonna be just so much more productive. Then pull request, look at this. You go ahead and you say add support for the generic water heater. And it's going to go ahead and as you type on the pull request, it's going to suggest the pull request text. How many times you go ahead and you open a pull request and you just don't know what to put on that. And then you have to make templates and some people just ignore the templates and it's a mess. This can be so useful. And not only that, but it can detect missing tests on pull requests. For example, 
Here, we are using the checks on the pull request that run as part of CI, and it's going to say, I found two changes that may need tests. I, it, that's so good. And again, it uses all that context of your code base. So it's going to be as accurate as possible. Again, doc support, fantastic. And the fact that it is powered by GPT-4. The last thing, which I think will go largely overlooked, but it is just also very useful, is the CLI support. Because I don't know everything that my command line tools can do. And when I paste a command from the internet to do something, I have to Google every parameter to make sure I'm not running something that is malicious. So this with Copilot will make it so much easier to validate what my commands are doing. Now, for now, that's all we have. And I'm going to put a link again for all of these posts in the description if you want to go and take a closer look. But I can't wait to get my hands on this because I used traditional Copilot and it really made me more productive. But I felt a bit limited, especially seeing ChatGPT and what that could do. Now, bringing all that into the ID is what truly will make me as efficient as I can possibly be. And I just can't believe that Microsoft, a trillion dollar corporate entity, moves like a startup and destroys the competition. It is just fantastic to see. Now, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about all this because I'm just mind blown. Well, that's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Special thanks to my Patreons for making videos possible. If you want to support me, you're going to find the link in the description down below. Leave a like if you like this video, subscribe more, and like this, and the bell as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep coding.